I have argued that the human way of creating knowledge is the ultimate one, that there aren't any more powerful ones than that. And this is the argument against the supernatural, assuming that there is a form of knowledge creation that's more powerful than our one is equivalent to invoking the supernatural, which is therefore a bad explanation, as invoking the supernatural always is. The difference between biological evolution and human creative thought is that biological evolution is inherently limited in its range. And that is because biological evolution has no foresight. It can't see a problem and conjecture a solution. Whenever biological evolution produces a solution to something, it's always before natural selection has even begun. This is Charles Darwin's insight. This is the difference between Charles Darwin's theory of evolution and the other theories of evolution that had been around for a century or more before that, including Charles Darwin's grandfather and Lamarck. The thing they didn't get is that the creation of knowledge in evolution begins before. That means that biological evolution can't reach places that are not reachable by successive improvements, that each of which allows a viable organism to exist. Creationists say that biological evolution has in fact reached things that are not reachable by incremental steps, each of which is a viable organism. They're factually mistaken. But the thing which they have in mind is the idea of a creator who can imagine things that don't exist and who can create an idea that is not the culmination of a whole load of viable things. A thinking being can create something that's the culmination of a whole load of non-viable things. Out of all the billions and billions of species that have ever existed, none of them has ever made a campfire, even though many of them would have been helped by having the genetic capacity to make campfires. The reason it didn't happen in the biosphere is that there is no such thing as making a partially functional campfire. Whereas there is, for example, with making hot water, bombardier beetles squirt boiling water at their enemies. And you can easily see that just squirting cold water at your enemies is not totally unhelpful. Then making it a bit hotter and a bit hotter, Squirting boiling water no doubt required many adaptations to make sure the beetle didn't boil itself while it was making this boiling water. That happened because there was a sequence of steps in between, all of which were useful. But with campfires, it's very hard to see how that could happen. Humans have the explanatory creativity, and once you have that, you can get to the moon, you can cause asteroids which are heading towards the Earth to turn around and go away. And perhaps no other planet in the universe has that power, and it has it only because of the presence of explanatory creativity on it.